Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In today's video, I'll show you how to tie together a camera and environment in a couple of easy steps. It's worth mentioning, this is a Keyshot Pro only feature. Now perhaps you became accustomed to creating view sets in Keyshot 6 and would like to use the same process in Keyshot 7. Well, here's how it's done. I'll choose my environment by double clicking on it in the library. I'll rotate it using control and left click dragging to position my highlights. I'll set my environment background to white while I'm at it. Now that my environment is set up, I'll click on the camera tab to set my camera position. When I'm happy with that, I'll click the add camera and environment studio button to the left of the camera list and choose add locked because I'm already happy with the camera and environment settings. Immediately our studios tab becomes visible and our studio has been made. And that's it. It really is that easy. Uh, but if you're curious as to what's happening behind the scenes, watch on. When I click the Add Camera and Environment Studio button, three things happened at once. An environment was made with the settings we had chosen, a camera was made with the settings we had chosen, and a studio was created using this new camera and environment. Now, say we simply want another rendering with a slightly different lighting. We'll just repeat the process. So we'll click on the Environment tab, activate the unlocked environment, make your changes, move to the camera tab, activate the free camera, make your changes again, and add camera and environment studio button. And then we repeat this process as much as we need to. So to make our Keyshot file easier to navigate, we can always go back in and rename any of our environments or cameras that were created through this process. For more Keyshot learning content, click on one of the playlists below. Click on the Keyshot logo to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new videos.